So back in 2019 or 2020, I bought the Wandered Provoke backpack when I was living in California from a local camera store. And here it is, the Wandered Provoked, uh, Wander Provoke uh, 21 liter backpack. And it's been a great backpack, but I need more space to put my gear. So I upgraded to a new backpack, which you guys already know, I made an unboxing video of it. If you haven't seen it already, um, I'll leave a link at the end of the video, as well as a link to the video in the notes down below. But I will be making a video on that new backpack later in the future. It's gonna be a more in-depth review of my thoughts of that backpack. But we aren't here to talk about my new backpack. We're here to talk about the Wandered Provoked 21 liters. So let's start with the outside of the bag. The outside is made out of tarpaulin and ballistic nylon, and it is water resistant. Hence, big emphasis on water resistant, not waterproof. The zippers are also water resistant as well. As you can see here, the zippers also have a tarpaulin coating on them, so it also makes them water resistant. Here at the top of the bag, we have a handle which connects with a magnet, which is pretty cool. And we also have a roll at the top of the bag right here, which gives you an extra five liters of space if you need it. So it expands up to that height. And you just roll it down and clip it back. Here on the side, you have a quick access pocket to your camera. So boom, say you wanna take a photo or a video or something real quick, you just flip it around like that, unzip this pocket, boom, get your camera, get some pictures, get some video, whatever you need. Also, this uh, quick access pocket also has a zipper right here. What I usually put in there is a, uh, I use my, what I put in there, uh, my SD card reader. And it also has like these little other pockets within the pocket, pocket inception, pockception, um, where you can put other stuff in here, but I just only use like this pocket. I don't know if you can really see that. It has like these little pockets within there, in the pocket. And then you also have another pocket right down here, which I don't think I ever used. That also, it has a Velcro and you can put more stuff in there as well. So that's the quick access pocket. On the other side here, we have a place where you can put a water bottle. It fits up to a one liter water bottle. And then you have the zipper down here, which you can expand and fit a little bit thicker or wider water bottle if you want. And also you can put your tripod in here, travel size tripod, not like one of those big giant ass uh, tripods that you use for cinema cameras. Not those, just a travel sized tripod. And then you can put it in and I would show you, but uh, my camera is on the tripod. So I can't show it to you. But anyway, you would put two of the legs in this pocket and then you would use this clip, clip it in and then secure it and it stays in place. I use it more for my tripod than I did my water bottle. Then on the bottom of this backpack, you have a little compartment that has a rain cover right here. But then you ask, but wait, why do you need a rain cover if it's water resistant? That's because I believe that this is waterproof. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that this is waterproof because why else would they include a rain cover that's not waterproof? If this, if the outside is just water resistant, it would just make more sense if this is waterproof and it keeps water out. Yeah. Anyway, rain cover is stored in the bottom there. Just in case you're shooting in a wet environment. Moving on, we have the front zipper right here. It has a big space compartment right there.
right there. In this compartment, I just store notebooks and folders. Then moving on to the back, we have this nice padding for comfort, just in case you're walking with this for long periods of time. And you have this zipper where you can store your passport and wallet. And it's harder to steal because you can just tuck the zipper, tuck the zipper in, which is harder to get to. And then we also have this on the side right here, this pocket where you can put this little clip for your keys. You wanna put that, you wanna put your keys right there and just zip it up like that. And then we have the inside of the backpack right here. Open that up. We have two sleeves right here. You can fit a thin laptop or a thin laptop or a tablet in either of these pockets right here or a notebook or a journal, whatever you wanna use that those pockets for. We also have this compartment right here, which I have some stuff which I need to get out. We have a, the place where you would put your camera. Uh, right here would be the camera cube, but I took that out and put it in my other backpack, obviously, because um, they were sold out literally on their website, the camera cubes. So I just took it out and put it in my other backpack. It's a place where you would store your camera and lenses, and above it, we have, you guessed it, another compartment. Yay! And again, you can just store more camera gear up there. Up here in this pocket, I would also store my gimbal and my monitor for my camera in this little area. Also, we have a little pocket here on the back. And right here, I would put portable batteries to like charge my phone, portable hard drives, and miscellaneous cables. So, is this a good backpack for filmmakers? I would say yes. If you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of gear or you wanna be minimalistic with your gear, then yes, this is a perfect backpack for you. But ultimately, it is up to you to decide on whether or not this backpack fits your needs. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Colin underscore Mason Wayne underscore Whitfield. And until next time, eat, sleep, and dream films. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I believe from a local camera bag, a camera bag. Try that again. But just in case. Motherfucker. Okay, let's try that one more time. We are done.